He's right here. Please come on up, Dr. Shetty. Please come on up. There he is. He's worked in Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Liberia to establish and oversee Ebola treatment units. He's the Global Emergency Health Coordinator for the International Medical Corps and is often one of the first to deploy to the affected areas in the aftermath of a disaster or crisis. He was the first Indian American to be invited to sit in the First Lady's box of a State of the Union address this January. Dr. Shetty, who returned from earthquake ravaged Nepal last weekend, is here with his parents, Dr. Manohar and Sujata Shetty, sister Shivana, and wife Nora. Thank you so much for your service, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Um, uh, so good evening, everybody. It's really an honor to be here and a privilege to be part of this really momentous and humbling evening. Um, first, I'd like to thank India Abroad, obviously, for inviting me here for this incredible honor. As well, um, I'd like to thank Sri for orchestrating a flawless and elegant evening. And, of course, Aziz Hanifa, who tracked me down electronically across many countries uh, to chat. And it was, it was a pleasure every time. So thank you. Lisa. So when I started school, especially medical school, I never really thought that I would have this career path. Um, you know, life is a surprising chain of events, and I think, you know, whenever you have the opportunity to go off the beaten path, you have to, you have to take it and see where it leads you. Um, my parents certainly didn't know I would choose this path, and not so long ago asked me when I would stop volunteering and get a real job. Um, and I've convinced them that I make a salary, the real job part I'm still working on, so <laughs> that's a work in progress. Um, you know, listening to all the amazing um, awardees tonight and hearing what they've done has made me realize a couple things. Um, the first is that everybody wants to have an impact on the world. It doesn't matter what walk of life you're in, you want to make a difference. Um, and it's it's less important what field that impact is in. It could be medicine, it could be engineering, it could be business, it could be spelling. Um, but it's really the journey which really determines the scale of that impact. It's the pers perseverance and the determination and the hard work that it takes to get there, which is really the meaningful part. And if it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy to win a spelling bee, we wouldn't be honoring Ansoon and Sri Ram here tonight. If it was easy to win a National Geographic B, we wouldn't be honoring Akhil Hill here tonight. And I also realized that if the competition ends in the word B, you have to be Indian to win it. That is, it must be some sort of prerequisite. So congratulations to all three of you, but you know, everybody else is sort of at a disadvantage. Um, the second thing that I realized is that greatness isn't this esoteric, abstract concept. We've seen it here tonight, we've seen it in this room, and we can, it's tangible, we can feel it, we can, we can experience it. It's achievable by everybody. It's predicated by hard work, determination, and sometimes just plain practice. And if tonight has done nothing else, it serves as a testament to really what we can do ourselves, what our children and our future children can do, and what we can do as a community which I'm in, uh, incredibly proud of um, to be part of. Um, I'd like to thank International Medical Corps for giving me the opportunity to travel around the world to, to do what I can and we can collectively to help people in need, especially those um, affected by disaster, and from allowing me to have a job that I, that I absolutely love to do. Um, I'd like to thank my family. Um, my, you know, my deepest inspiration comes from my late grandfather, Prathap Shetty, and my late aunt, Lalitha Shetty, whose selflessness and determination and um, sacrifice has served an inspiration for myself and many others in my family as well. Um, and I'd like to thank my parents, who are endlessly grateful for, for the sacrifices they made to make sure that myself and my sisters had a better life um, in this country. Um, and to close out, I'd like to thank my wife, Nora, who is the kindest, most patient, and most understanding person that I know, um, and who agreed to come here even though being eight and a half months pregnant, 
Um, and I told her that it'd be okay, you know, we're in a room full of Indian, at least 75% of them are doctors. <laughs> so everything would be okay. But anyway, thank you everybody. Thank you, Indibrod. It's been quite a privilege. Doc. Thank you very much. Mm. The real hero, folks. When there's trouble, he gets on a plane and goes. It's amazing.